StadiumDB.com presents Skybet Championship Stadiums 2023-2024 Hi there! This time we are happy to show you all the stadiums that will host the forthcoming season of the championship. What are the arenas of one of the most difficult leagues in the world like? As many as 24 teams participate in the championship each season, which means that we will show you 24 stadiums from smallest to the largest. And we start with 24th place New York AES Seal Stadium Capacity 12,088 Rotherham United FC Design was drawn in 2010, plot was bought the same year, construction started in June 2011 and by mid-July 2012 the stadium was ready for opening. The ball grows proportionally from southeast to northwest, ending with the dominating main stand. 23rd place, Home Park, capacity 17,000, Plymouth Argyle FC. The venue was built in 1893 and for the first five years, main tenants were rugby side Albion, who moved out in 1898. Plans to build a completely new venue were drawn in 2001 with three stands being replaced that same year as part of the first phase. Now the team is coming back to championship for the first time since 2010. 22nd place Loftus Road Stadium Capacity 18,193 Queen's Park Rangers Loftus Road has a compact feel as the ground is totally enclosed with supporters being close to the pitch an unusual aspect is that all four stands are roughly the same height. Their roofs meet at all four corners with no gaps. 21st place. The Den. Capacity 19,369. Millwall FC. It was the first venue built along with and after the introduction of Lord Taylor's guidelines after the Hillsborough disaster. And although the opinion of Millwall is still rough, it's more about stereotypes. Today's den accommodates barely above 20,000, with average attendance slightly above half of the capacity. 20th place, Swansea.com Stadium, capacity 20,996, Swansea City FC. When the venue was just an idea and later during construction, it was most commonly referred to as White Rock. The stands are adorned with black and white waves and fans longing for a return to the Premier League. 19th place, Vicarage Road, capacity 22,200, Watford FC. The history of the venue is remarkable, which is hardly surprising given that the venue celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2022. The Hornets team held the rights to the stadium until 2002, when the club's disastrous financial situation forced it to be sold. A campaign was set up at the time during which fans donated, with Sir Elton John contributing a significant amount. 18th place, Deepdale Stadium, capacity 23,404, Preston North End FC. Record games for Preston North End were seen in the 1930s, with the Arsenal Classic in 1938 being watched by over 42,000 people. In 2001-2010, the National Football Museum was hosted at Deepdale, home stadium of one of the football's league's founder clubs. The museum was later relocated to Manchester. 17th place – John Smith Stadium, capacity 24,121, Huddersfield Town. At the time of completion it was thought to be among the most innovative stadiums in England, receiving RIBA Building of the Year in 1995. Its distinctive roof structure based on steel beams supported in the corners may seem symmetrical, but this is only an illusion. In fact, each stand is different. 16th place, MKM Stadium, capacity 25,586, Hall City. Selected colors have a meaning. Seats are to fit two tenant clubs. 
Hull City and rugby team Hull FC. Meanwhile, external towers in blue gold colors resemble Hull's municipal crest. Summer concerts bring stars there every year, to mention only a few that perform there Elton John, Bon Jovi, and R.E.M. 15th place Ashton Gate, capacity 26,459, Bristol City FC. Ashton Gate Stadium was built at the turn of the 19th century but inhabited by Bristol City FC after several years in 1904. In 2014-2016, awaiting expansion of Ashton Gate came to fruition, becoming the most expensive and extensive operation to ever be carried out at the stadium. 14th place – The Hawthorns Capacity 26,850 – West Bromwich Albion It was put into operation in 1900. After reconstruction of the facility in 2001, its capacity changed. The site chosen for the stadium was first located outside the city center. The area was overgrown with hawthorns and hence the name of the arena. 13th place – Carroll Road Capacity 27,359 – Norwich City The team which is looking forward to performing back in the Premier League now they have to aim to fulfill that dream in the next season. The lively fans are devoted to help the Canaries at the stands of the stadium. There is a six-story hotel and several restaurants in the venue premises. We're exactly halfway through and before you get to know the biggest championship stadiums, we encourage you to like this material and leave a comment. 12th place – St. Andrews Stadium Capacity 29,409 – Birmingham City The venue is more than 115 years old. Problems with Birmingham City's home arena began in December 2020, with damage discovered during a routine building inspection under the Cop and Tilton Road stands. The club's plans are for the entire stadium to be fully operational again by the end of 2023. 11th place Portman Road, capacity 29,673, Ipswich Town. The club was relegated to League One and now they are back. The record attendance of 38,010 was recorded at the venue in 1975 during a match between Ipswich Town FC and Leeds United. The stadium has hosted one senior England friendly international match against Croatia in 2003. 10th place, Bet 365 Stadium, capacity 30,089, Stoke City. Decision to leave the century-old Victoria ground was made in 1994 as the old venue couldn't meet requirements. Opening was done by Sir Stanley Matthews, the club's biggest legend. Since 2018, Stoke City is stuck in championship and most likely it won't change fast. 9th place, Ewood Park, capacity 31,363, Blackburn Rovers. It was put into operation in 1890. Though primarily the home ground for Blackburn Rovers, Ewood Park has seen other usage, including hosting the 1941 Football League World Cup final replay. 8th place, King Power Stadium. Capacity 32,261 – Leicester City Leicester City is facing a spectacular relegation from the Premier League just a few years after becoming English champions. Due to the naming rights deal, the stadium had been called Walker's Stadium from 2002 to 2012, later becoming known as King Power Stadium. 7th place – St. Mary's Stadium Capacity 32,384 – Southampton FC If needed, the construction can handle another tier with sitting up to 50,000, but that would require dismantling the roof. The club had a terrible season in Premier League, where the team has been performing since season 2012-13. However, it is believed that the Saints will be back quickly, just like Burnley. 6th place, Coventry Building Society Arena, 
capacity 32,609, Coventry City. The team had a great opportunity to appear in the Premier League next season, but they were beaten by Luton Town. Interestingly, the stadium was the first cashless stadium in the United Kingdom, with customers using a prepaid smart card system in the grounds bar and shops. Fifth place, Cardiff City Stadium. Capacity 33,280, Cardiff City FC. There is another major tenant at the ground though. It's the Cardiff Blues rugby side that switched from Cardiff Arms Park to this new venue, signing a 20-year lease ending in 2029. The football team, however, was close to being relegated, but at the end of the season, they finished in last place which stays in the league. 4th place, Riverside Stadium, capacity 34,742, Middlesbrough. Construction began in fall of 1994 and took an impressively short period of time, less than 9 months. Riverside Stadium hasn't only been home to Middlesbrough FC games, but also internationals. During reconstruction of Wembley, for example, the national team played here against Slovakia before Euro 2004. Third place, Hillsborough Stadium, capacity 34,835, Sheffield Wednesday. The team is back in championship after two seasons in League One. This name today is commonly associated with the place of one of football's largest disasters. Though the stadium has not changed significantly since the 90s, it's still very popular among fans of Wednesday who support a club numerously, 20,000 people per game. Second place, Allen Road, capacity 37,608, Leeds United. The history of the stadium on Elland Road is linked to the nearby pub, the Old Peacock, which stands opposite the southeast corner of the venue. The legendary club was very close to being relegated last year, but they are coming back to Championship now, after four seasons in Premier League. First place, Stadium of Light, capacity 48,707, Sunderland. Since 1997, Stadium of Light is constantly used by Sunderland, but has also played host to two national team games and numerous concerts in the summer season. The name pays tribute to the miners, many of whom are still Sunderland fans. The light is symbolized by the Davy Lamp, a traditional piece of mining equipment. The Lamp Monument is located next to the stadium. These are all the arenas where Premier League backline football will be played in the upcoming season. Which teams will be promoted to the world's best league this time? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You shouldn't miss the next videos. See you!